Hey folks, welcome back. We murdered a lot of Ibanexes up here on that hill. I've decided to come down here to this one just to see what I could see. I was walking south toward this lookout point and then I just got a call here from something. I didn't get a chance to, to click on it. I was uh, bringing you guys back in, but there definitely is something over there. If we play our cards right, that'll be our first take for today, so... Just see what we can see. All right, I'll bring you back if I get a, a better beat on him. So we did get a beat on that herd. They're called Southern Spanish Ibanexes. So I believe the four hills, each hill is going to have one species of Ibanex on it. Sorry, every time I get to the... <laughs> Every time I get on an animal here, I start whispering into the microphone because I think they can hear me, <laughs> but they cannot. I got to break myself of that habit. But the Southern Spanish Ibanexes are down here on Bolona Santana. And uh, that herd was pushing up the side of this mountain away from me and up. I half expect them to see, I half expect to see them coming up the side of the mountain here or pushing over the horizon on that side. I switched back to the 7 mag though. I had so many near shots, close misses, or shots that were on that didn't bring down the other Ibanexes. I was like, you know what, I'm not doing this. If I'm going to get one shot, I'm going to take that one shot with a heavy hitter. That's right there. I think we just missed them. I think they just ran over the side of that. I know it's very hard to see for you folks. Um, even though the game whoop, is supposed to render. That's only 76. I don't believe that's. There's a, there's a better one in that group, I guarantee you, than a 76. He's got to be super sneaky about getting over there to them. But even though the game renders as close to as, as close as possible as it can to what I'm seeing here, I'm watching this on 2K, and you guys are getting it 1080. Um, so it's just not doing it justice uh, how easy it is to see these things. There's uh, streamers I watch play uh, Squad or Escape from Tarkov. And for the longest time, I was like, man, I don't get it. Like, I don't see how they're... I don't see how they're seeing those enemies. I wonder, you know, let's just go ahead and take him. Let's just go ahead. Let's just get on the board over here. Let's drop our first one. He's a good side on shot. See, that's what I want. <laughs> that's what I want. I want to take one shot and watch the Joker drop right where he's standing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the beauty of the 7 mag. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's a, it's a delightful gun. And who's to say? Who's to say? That 6.5 Thunderer. That's the, the name of the gun is a 6.5 Thunderer. Who's to say that thing doesn't drop him just as well if it's a side-on shot like that? What was that shot at? 150 meters, would it say? Yeah, about 150 because we walked a little bit. 140. Who's to say that inside that range, that 6.55 doesn't just get the job done but I mean, if you ask me that 7 mag has never let me down the only drawback to the 7 mag is that it's a breech loader where you gotta you know you saw him reload it where you have to break the gun down the one round ejects you have to hand load the next round put it back together then bring it back up and acquire your target again get situated hold your breath fire by the way, I've been watching some other people uh, stream or play this game, and far be it from me to tell you how to have fun and how you do your business, but um, I've noticed that you're not holding your breath, some of you folks out there. Uh, you can hear, I'll do it right here so you can hear my guy do it. Listen. So we have the gun up, right? Now listen. You can actually, you can actually hear him holding his breath. I watch some people online uh, watch their streams. I don't hear him holding his breath. I don't see the 
gun becoming wobbly. Right? Like, I don't see, you see how wobbly it is? Now watch, when you hold the breath, see that? You're always going to get a little figure eight pattern. You're always going to get a figure eight. That's just the body's natural wobble. But if you hold your breath and you build your bone structure correct, and no, you can't do that in this game, but in real life, oh, it was almost an action movie. We almost shot him. He fell off the side. But if you build your bone structure correctly and you breathe correctly, you can get a really stable firing platform. If you don't know what building your bone structure is, uh, I encourage you to watch uh, professional shooters, especially Olympians. Uh, they do an insanely good job of building bone structure when they perform. Now let's look at this guy. You can tell how different he is from the... Uh, I can't tell you what the other ones are called. I call them Beatrix. I, I didn't see their name. Well, I saw their name a hundred million times, but I just never read it. Uh, but you can see how different this species is. Different color coat. This guy's brown and black. Now that might be him. We'll have to check here on the trophy deal. That might just be how he rolls uh, on a hog. It's called a razorback, right? How it kind of comes down that way. Uh, this is not a razorback, but on a hog, it's you know very pronounced. Anywho, got those black horns there. Really pretty. And look at his eyes. He has those very characteristic goat eyes. Okay. He is a silver. Look at that. Gold is 72. So for um, gold on the Ibanexes, the ones we came from, it was 150 was our gold. Here we're only looking for a 72.5 or higher. And this joker, 65.6. .6. And his fur type is common. So they all should look like that. And uh, he's class 4. So everything is spot on and look at the difference just look at the difference you see that pen power see how it went all the way through him if you watch the previous video to this one that 6.5 just can't do that it just can't get the job done it even went through the bone and still penetrated deep it almost came out the other side you see what i'm saying that's seven magnum oh love that gun man now what does a magnum mean I usually try to cut out. Ibex's horns follow a distinctive backward sweeping curve, making them stand out amongst the other breeds. Mm. Uh, usually I'll, I'll cut out right here and I'll, I'll take you to the next um, adventure. But let me just take one second here to talk to you. What does a magnum round mean? Well, the United States military uses a 223 round, and a 22 caliber is pretty much a 223. Um, but you're saying to yourself, well, 22, you know, you go squirrel hunting with a 22, okay? Uh, 22 is a, it's a plunk gun, right? Like, it, it's just, I mean, it's dangerous. I'm not saying it isn't. You can kill somebody with it if you get them in the right place. Um, but the difference between the United States military using a 223 and a little plunk gun 22 you kill a squirrel with is that the United States military uses a magnum round. It uses a crimped cartridge. What that means is that if you look at a 223 round, it has a cylinder, and then that cylinder at the end of it gets crimped down to, to fit snug around the 22. Okay? The cylinder isn't flush the entire length of the cartridge. Okay? There's a dip to it, there's a crimping at the top. That allows much more gunpowder to be loaded behind that bullet. So the velocity is just, it's a quick round. And they do that for two reasons. So they can train soldiers to shoot. And you have a very flat trajectory. It's so fast. It's just going to zip right to where it needs to go. So they don't have to teach soldiers how to lead as much. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of dip to the, to the trajectory. It's going to be pretty flat. So they can kind of teach them just to aim center mass, pull trigger, and let that be the end of it. And apparently, um, that 22 is a light round. At 223, excuse me, it's a light round, so they can just hump that anywhere they want to. But a 22, if you go and shoot a squirrel gun, that 22, that's going to be a flush cartridge, okay? There's no crimp to it. It's not a magnum round. It's a standard 22 LR. If you, you can actually go buy uh, 22 uh, SR, the short rounds, right? The smaller ones than the LR. Uh, and they're, they're still the same diameter. It's still, you know, 22, you know, .223, kind of similar. But that's just my point here I'm making is that this magnum round, it's got a lot more punch to it. It's going to get through uh, that animal, I think, more so than that 6.5. And even though these are classed 4, and that 6.5 is classed all the way up to, Lord, what was it, 8? I, I'd rather use this right here. 
one and done. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks for humoring me and listening to me talk. I'm going to go ahead and, and bail, and I'll bring you back when we get another uh, goat in our sights. I'm so sorry. I've been X. I'm going to bring you back right here. I feel like we're going to see something over the edge of this ledge here. Got a feeling. What did I tell you? What did I freaking tell you? That one took off. 52. 52. Nine. Come on, where's the big daddy at? 52. Man. None of those seem right for the taking, do they? Missed him. Who was that down there? See that runner? 51. 70. There he is. There's our boy. Got him. Got him. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. You got to believe in that gut instinct, man. I was walking up and I was like, over the side of this hill. Over the side of this hill, we're going to come up on something. I guarantee it. Brought you boys back in. Look at that. There's a feed zone right there. And look, hey, I, I'm not joking you. I don't I don't have that marked. I got nothing marked over here, okay? That was just a little bitty baby voice in the back of my head that was saying, you are close to something. I just listened to it. Let's go over here and get our boy. He's going to be our gold, too. He's going to be a gold, unique fur type. He's going to be something to see. Something to see, I tell you that right now. Where you at? Holler at me. Where'd you go down at? There he is. I see him. Man, they're all over this area. Look at that. Hope I'm getting all these marked. Hey, boy. I hope we didn't shoot him in the head. Please tell me we did not shoot this guy in the head. Please tell me we did not shoot him in the head. They curve backwards right there. That's what that girl was saying, right? So they go backwards. They don't go up and out like the other ones do. What's a better picture of this? Better picture there? If all that goes away. Yeah, much better picture. Okay, here we go. Silver, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. Oh, that's right. 72.5 is our upper limit. Rip. We got him, though. We got a great shot. Look at that. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. All right. That's two down. But I'm, I'm feeling a little intimidated here. I, I saw a bunch of those. And they, um, none of them seemed high level. It was like 46, 52. I saw him at 70 and I was like, oh, that's got to be gold. Or I saw him at 70. I thought, yeah, that's got to be gold. I'm a little intimidated. I'm going to go down here and check in with this um, this uh, observatory thing here, this survey site. Looks like there's going to be a place to camp here, here. Kind of looks like there's going to be one like right here. Let <laughs> me look at that, like here, here. Here, here, here. But then again, I think she said that she does like cabins, like she rents them. So that's not 100% far fetched to think that she'd have a huge investment in cabins. Anywho, um, yeah, just, you know, you got to believe in yourself. Got to gotta listen to that gut feeling. And I know it's a video game, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you make the right call. I'll bring you back if uh, we stumble across anything else. Hopefully, we're going to get one more before we call it a day. Hopefully, uh, we're going to take one more of these jokers, and it's going to be our gold, and we're going to call it a day. I'm going to crack one open here and relax, but I'll bring you back. Bye. So, you're right. I should not try to shoot a roe deer from this far away, but I'm going to. like eight hundred dollars <laughs> let's go see if we hit him <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you see what happens i get into so much trouble when you guys aren't here <laughs> all right i'll bring you back if i hit him 
I probably didn't. So I made my way to the bottom part of the map here. Um, I'm on the trail of some muffalo. I know we've taken a handful of those before in another video, but I don't believe we ever got a gold. And I didn't get warning called, but it was a mating call, and it seemed pretty close. It seemed like it was right over the top of this mountain that we're approaching. I thought we would just poke our head over and... Here. Think we can get that one? We won't even get that one. For the older brother to come through is what we want. Are these class three? I bet they're class three. I know we hit one of them twice. I bet they're class three. I bet that's why they went down to the seven mag. I mean, I know the seven mag was like super close to them, but. Okay. I didn't see any poppies or daddies in there. We just saw a bunch of girls. Okay. We'll just go ahead and pick these up. Good for money. $700. Oh, no, they are class four. Cool. We could have kept using the. 7 mag on those. Just cleaned up. I'll have to go pick that one up that we shot twice. That last one was a clean kill. Let's see if this one's a clean kill too. Yep, clean kill. $800. Works for me. Now where's the one we shot? Wounded. No vital organ. That right there looks like a vital organ hit. Oh. Usually you can kind of tell because if it's a larger blood stain, and you like you really got into them, if it's a small little podunky looking one, usually it's a non-vital hit. Hopefully two non-vital hits is going to equal one vital hit. Let's go here and make sure we get this too. Resting zone. Keep working this trail here. I was trying to push over to another lookout station on that side of the map. There she is, right there. I see her. Was that? Was that? Roe deer? I had a. We shot at some roe deer. Didn't hit him though, by the way. I told you I'd bring him back if uh, if we hit him, but we didn't. He made a clean getaway. So we'll see. We can't bring this roe deer into us. And that might be the end of this here video. Yet again. Well, now that I think of it. Do I have a gold roe deer? Of all the roe deer I've killed. I don't think I've ever taken a gold. You know what? We're going to need to perform an audit. We're going to need to sit down. Hey, darling. Oh, we just okay yeah, all right the second one gotcha i see we're gonna need to sit down perform an audit see number one what we've, we've what we've taken i'm sure we've taken one of every species except for the two other ibanexes on this map and then we need to sit down and see of the ones we have taken what do we got gold of and we need to flush out the gold on everything that we have um taken or everything we've taken at least once of and then you know we'll make that video we'll call it like call of the wild audit gold you know we'll make sure we get all of our gold of the animals we've taken and then we'll do a call of the wild audit full house and that one will be we need to take one of every single species where's that little roe deer at where's that little roe deer at he was yelling at me a second ago you're going to be off the side of the mountain, you think, or on the side of the mountain? I was kind of wanting to get up. I'm going to have to. I have to go up 
to come around to, to go down on that one. So I have to go up. Morning call. Oh, that's not going to help. Oh, she is. There's a boy. See if we can take him right there in the heart. All right. I'm twice. That's as much as we can do before we mess up the trophy rating. I'd actually tagged him three times, to tell you the honest truth. Run over here right quick and see if we can't pick up his trail. Don't want to miss him. Now, this is what I was saying. See that that big blood spank? That's vital work and hit, right? That means you, you, you really laid into him. That's going to be like an intestine or a lung or something. That's not going to be a quick kill bonus right there. There he is. Hello, Mr. Roe Deer. So pretty. So pretty. Let's see what the gold level is on you. You are a silver, and the gold level is 64.3. First shot got you there. Uh, I guess that's a vital organ, but maybe not. Um, Yeah, but we definitely need to get back to uh, the Germany or someplace and get a roe deer gold. They're just a really pretty uh, deer, and uh, they're great to hunt. You know, they're not super difficult. They don't have a ton of hit points. You can take it with a really fast rifle. You can get the two shots on them, right? So if you if you shoot it and you hit like the leg or something, or you know you just didn't get a good shot on them, and they they do that thing where they fall on the ground for a second. If you're quick enough, you can you know reload the chamber and you can get a second shot in on them. So it just you know like I said, they have a small health pool anyway. All right, but that's going to be us for today. What a beautiful place to sign off at. This is early morning, by the way. I, I turned the clock back to 5 a.m. Love hunting early in the morning. Just gives it a great aesthetic, if you ask me. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, sorry we can't land a gold. Uh, there was a time there that we were getting golds left and right. Different species this, different species that. Gold, gold, gold. We were filling up that... Uh, trophy lodge faster than we could make videos for it we just had a little dry spell here um but we'll get there don't you worry about it all we gotta do is just keep working at it keep plugging away and we'll get some nice animals to put up in there uh i think our diamond duck was the last like high-end one we got like i said don't you worry we'll we'll make it i'm just gonna hump it down there right quick to that place and claim it i'm gonna sign off and compile this video and do the Do the intro. What I meant to say is that I'm going to keep talking until something yells at me. Then I'm going to go hunt that because I want to play more. <laughs> hey, what though? I am going to bring you back if anything happens, though, okay? It's been a long segment. Let me just, let me just clock out. I'll bring you back if I see him. Well, we hit the mother load, folks. Look at that. There's a ton of them, but they're all girls. You don't see a boy in there amongst them. We're trying to find the boys. We want to get a nice trophy. It almost looks like they just spawned. If you tell me the honest truth, it almost looks like that whole herd just, just was populated on the map because of how bunched up they were when we first saw them. Um, I'll go ahead and take as many as I can. I really want to get, really want to get a. Uh, a boy, so I can get some trophies here. That's what I'm really after. But the money is okay. Alright, let's see if we can take her. Ready? And they're going to run to the west. And the next time we're going to get a good shot is when they come out from the other side of there. 
to get one more shot before they disappear into that other wood, probably. That was a little bit too much lead. All right. Let's go down here and see what we got. Watch a great big old one just run right out in front of us here. Big old horn. You guys ever seen that movie Princess Mononoke? Of the wolves and the boar they have that like legendary wolf or legendary boar like the spirit the ethos of the animal that's what we're looking for yeah 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 <laughs> we're warning you see how they're all bunched up right here I, I think that's how they spawn in is like that uh, we know that she's not a trophy animal got a good shot on her though look at that blam 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 nine hundred dollars works for me second one's gonna be over here somewhere we probably could take another shot yeah fix that uh We'll just keep running that herd. We've only got four rounds left. We'll just drop all of them, or as many as we can. Just to get some money. Then we'll call it a day. Poop. I feel like we hit one of them coming out of this. Oh, there she is, yeah. Hit her there, and she dropped there, and we missed the other one. We just gave the other one way too much lead. Seven hundred dollars, no vital organ hit. Rip. Is she out in the water? Oh no, no, she's floating away. The ducks. It'll bring the ducks back to you. I wonder if it's going to bring the duck, the this thing to me. No, no, no. No! <laughs> Come here! Don't leave me! Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> I don't know where she's going. We'll have to keep an eye on her. <laughs> oh, look! There's one up there we tagged somehow. I don't know where she got shot from. What do you think? Is that a, from the hill, maybe? Maybe. Maybe from the hill. So maybe we didn't lead her too much. I mean, that was just, that was just right. Oh, no, no, no. Another one's in the water. Why are they all in the water? What are they doing? Grab her right quick. Perfect. Okay. And the other ones are probably moving up the hill. Where'd the other one go that was in the water? Arr, she saw, oh, she's moving over there. That's odd. I wonder, did we walk in the water over there when we were... Because the game will do that. The game will bring the uh, ducks to you and the geese to you if you shoot them in the water. I wonder if she was in the water and we touched the water when we came down over there and the game was like, okay, that's where we need to take it. Let's just go ahead and move her over there. All right, I am going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry we ended it kind of on a... on a um, unhappy note, just killing a bunch of these little muffalo, but... You know, got to get our money, got to get our experience. And technically, we haven't caught them all yet. One of them, is, one has, one of them still has a little bit of life left in her. There we go. Now we got our, our, our girls. Okay. What a beautiful way to end the video, though. Just kind of right here next to this gorgeous lake. We were trying to get over there, but I uh, guess we're not going to get there this time. Actually, probably up there where the lookout tower is. Okay, folks, have a great day. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Remember, if you got some friends um, that haven't yet been introduced to the channel, please do so on my behalf. I'd appreciate that. And hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And if you didn't, go ahead and leave me a comment at the bottom. Tell me what you'd like to see.